everybody, Philip Chinetsky here. In this video, I'm presenting to you guys the Module 4 by Drybell, a company based in the beautiful country of Croatia. The Module 4 is a compressor modeled after the Orange Squeezer by Dan Armstrong, which was or is a little unit that you can plug directly into your guitar's input, made famous by, among others, Mark Knopfler, as, as far as I know. The Module 4 reproduces the sound and feel of the Orange Squeezer, however, it's packed with features which let you shape the sound and feel uh, that you are going for and also let you use the Module 4 in a number of different ways. So on the front panel of the Module 4 you have six knobs. First of all you have a preamp knob which lets you decide how much signal you are sending into the compressor and with your output knob you decide your overall volume so this is like a makeup gain if you want to. The attack knob decides how fast the compressor starts working and the release knob decides how long it is holding on to a note. Then you have a tone knob which lets you shape the high frequencies and a blend knob which is a mix knob which is crucial in my opinion which lets you mix the compressed signal with your original signal. The orange button over here lets you activate the orange mode which is a more warm vintage like uh, EQ mode. Your foot switch activates and deactivates the pedal and there's quite a bunch of secondary options which I will show you as we go. But first I will be just tweaking the knobs on the front panel up next so you get an impression of how the pedal sounds um, by itself in isolation. Let's go.
So as I already mentioned, the Module 4 is packed with quite a bunch of secondary features. Uh, number one being that you can use the pedal either in true or buffered bypass mode. Um, the buffered bypass mode has two reasons in my opinion. First of all, and most importantly, you can use the orange mode's EQ characteristics, but without the compressor working. So for this you need to set the pedal into true bypass mode, which I am showing you right now. And then just activate the orange button so you are hearing the pedal the pedals uh, or the orange squeezers if you want to EQ characteristics but without the compression second secondary function is that the module 4 has a built-in expander which is like a noise gate if you want to activate it you need to press and hold the foot switch for two seconds the LED will be lighting up turquoise indicating the expander is working <laughs> You can then go for a fast fade in and out of the expander or a slow fade in and out and you change this by pressing the orange button five times and then when the LED lights up green three times it's a fast fade in and fade out and if it lights up red two times it's a slow fade in and fade out of the expander. The next trick that the Module 4 has up its sleeve is a low end cut. You activate this one by tapping the foot switch five times and again if the LED lights up green three times it means the low end cut is active activated and then when it lights up red two times it's deactivated. And then once you found your favorite settings, you know, expander working, yes or not, fade, fade in time, fast or slow, low and cut, yes or no, you can save your favorite settings as the power on settings of the pedal. So every time the pedal uh, powers on, your favorite settings are there. Really handy feature, maybe if you have your pedal underneath uh, a pedal board and you're using a loop switcher, you can be sure that every time you power on the pedal, your favorite, your favorite settings are saved and there. I think that Drybell did an amazing job with this one. I, f I find it is a very natural feeling compressor. It's not over the top, especially with the blend knob, which is crucial in my opinion. Uh, it, it lets you blend in your or original signal with the compressed signal. Um, and personally, I would always go for like a 50 50 mix, more or less. So you still have the attack, your pick attack is there, however the compressor makes it just a bit easier to play, the notes you know, last a bit longer, you have a bit more sustain, uh, it feels great. On top you have um, all the features that lets you shape your sound and the feel and all the secondary functions as I just mentioned. The expander for instance is a very great studio tool and if you just like the orange orange squeezers EQ characteristics and you maybe need a, um, a, a buffer for your long cable runs on your big pedal board you can also use it. If you get confused with all the secondary functions they are mentioned here on the back of the pedal also great feature really well thought through pedal great job uh, Drybell um, I applaud you and yeah guys Please subscribe to my channel if you like the video, give me a like, give me uh, turn on the notification bell and all these nice things and I hope to see you soon for the next one. Ciao!